Welcome to our vibrant corner of the internet. We are thrilled to have you join us on our channel today where creativity and exploration take center stage. Get ready to witness a technological revolution that will redefine the way you experience your digital world. Welcome to the grand unveiling of the most anticipated software update of the year, iOS 17. So without wasting any more time, let's jump right into the video. Imagine a world where your iPhone becomes an extension of your very being, a seamless blend of innovation and simplicity. Well, my friends, the world is here and it is called iOS 17. But wait, there's more. iOS 17 brings a host of breathtaking features that will make your heart skip a beat. Say goodbye to cluttered notifications and hello to the all new notification center designed to provide you with a clean, organized view of your digital life. Want to know more? Keep watching! Let's start with the first of many, the Control Center. The redesigned Control Center will have a more user-friendly layout that will make it simpler for customers to get to the functionality they require. More customization choices will be available in the new Control Center, enabling users to add or delete features as they see fit. Side Loading Side loading refers to the process of installing and running applications on a device from a source other than the official App Store or Marketplace. Typically, when you download and install apps on your smartphone or tablet, you do so through the official App Store provided by the operating system, such as the Apple App Store for iOS or the Google Play Store for Android. While this is only a rumor and most likely not true, it's still an intriguing one. A Bloomberg study predicted that in 2023, iPhones would be able to sideload app. We predicted that this would fundamentally alter iOS at the time. However, the first beta of iOS 17 has been released and the WWDC 2023 has passed. Sadly, it appears that no iPhone sideloading features were addressed at the presentation and that iOS 17 currently lacks such a functionality. The all-new journaling app. Apple is releasing a brand new journaling software that functions somewhat similarly to the well-known Day One program. The name of the new software is simply Journal. The iPhone generates personalized suggestions based on your images, activities, location, music, exercises, etc. using on-device machine learning. Dynamic Island we had anticipated that the Dynamic Island would receive more prominence at the WWDC 2023 keynote. With the release of the iPhone 14 Pro in September, Apple debuted the new design element, and iOS 17 will be the first significant update since then. The modifications to AirDrop and starting SharePlay, as far as I can tell, are the largest new thing about the Dynamic Island in iOS 17 that has been advertised so far. The Clock app increases the use of the Dynamic Island for features like alarms and the island's new intelligent airplay based on proximity automatically appears. None of this implies that the Dynamic Island has been touched barfied by Apple and that we will always receive what we have. The Dynamic Island's ability to be used and enhanced over time by third-party programs is one of its strongest features. However, Apple has more chances to use its own features and apps to give the Dynamic Island a more useful function. Widgets. Interactive widgets can now be seen on the iPhone's home screen, lock screen, and the new standby mode as of iOS 17. As more third-party apps are updated with support, there will be a lot more uses for interactive widgets, such as marking a reminder as done, playing or stopping a song or podcast, and controlling accessories in the home app. Home screen widgets, which were first introduced in iOS 14, had limited functionality up until this point because Apple forbade developers from including interactive components like scrolling, buttons, or dynamic transitions. Home screen widgets could only display read-only data, and pressing on one of them would launch the relevant app. Users will now be able to perform some tasks directly through widgets. With iPad OS 17 and Mac OS Sonoma, interactive widgets are also available on the desktop of the Mac and the iPad's home screen and lock screen. 
The public release of all software updates will take place later this year. They are all now accessible in beta. Had your fill of it? Come on, leave some room for more. Here's another one. Lock Screen Enhancements A new lock screen interface in iOS 17 will transform the iPhone into a smart home display. The iPhone can act as a home data hub by displaying information such as calendar appointments, weather information, notifications, and more when not in use and held horizontally. Apple is working on a low-cost tablet that will magnetically attach to walls and stand to serve as a dedicated home hub. The company is also building a horizontal interface for the iPad, though the feature could not be ready to ship in iOS 17. Performance Improvements The iPhone app, which is essential to the iPhone experience, gets a significant boost with customized contact posters, giving users a new means of self-expression. Users can alter their appearance, give incoming calls an entirely new appearance, and select lovely photo or Memoji treatments, as well as vibrant typography and font colors. For third-party calling apps, contact posters will also be accessible. Users of live voicemail have the option to pick up the phone while a caller is still leaving a voicemail and can view a real-time transcription of the message as it is being left. Calls that are flagged by carriers as spam won't show up as live voicemail, but will be rejected right away. Live voicemail transcription is handled on device and is completely confidential thanks to the neural engine's strength. With iOS 17, iMessages receive substantial upgrades such as a brand new sticker experience with new emoji stickers and the capability to create live stickers by removing objects from photographs. Live stickers can also have effects added by users to make them come to life, and a new keyboard jar organizes all of a user's stickers for simpler access across iOS. There's a plethora of things to admire about this game-changing update. What's your favorite? Let us know in the comments. For more videos, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel.